Hello there, welcome back to Simon Shed. Uh, today it's time to talk about track cleaning and uh, we're going to have a look at the Lux model bow Scheinen Schliefwagen. Apologies, apologies for my uh, German pronunciation, but I think it's Scheinen Schliefwagen, uh, which I think translates as uh, rail polishing car. So uh, we're going to look at that today, yeah, but track cleaning. Yeah, probably my least favorite uh, aspect of uh, model railways. You do need to keep the tracks clean, as any of you with railways will know. Um, and I've been using the little um, pads that clip underneath a, a coach or a wagon, uh, but I found myself sort of having to follow that round with the track rubber and the uh, IPA, uh, isopropanol alcohol, um, of which I've got a huge, uh, bottle here so uh, I thought is it the pad doing the cleaning or is it actually me with the track rubber that's actually doing all the work anyway and uh, I thought I'd look for a solution where uh, it was more automated and also because uh, a lot of the track now I'm putting the scenery in is becoming hidden under the scenic layer we've got a, a level below that uh, so I have some track that's reasonably hard to uh to get to to clean uh so yeah let's uh take a look and see if this is any good so uh first of all the box uh i really like the box it reminds me of uh sort of like old victorian packaging for soap powder or something um so it is the lux model bow uh, Engage Scheinen Schleifwagen. I have been practicing that. Uh, and it is 9470, uh, which is very important because that's the latest version. Uh, previous versions may look the same, but they don't work as easily. I'm reliably informed, but we'll get on to more of that later. So, yeah, I think uh, let's have a look and get it out of the box first of all. So I got uh, some leaflets and some nice spongy stuff and the cleaner itself. And uh, yeah, you can see we've got uh, Rapido couplings, they are fixed on. They are not any end pockets. And obviously we've got the cleaning pads uh, here, which uh, we presume are gonna spin around. And interestingly, we have three bogies, uh, which should make it very maneuverable on tight, uh, tight curves. So that looks promising. And we've got the uh, wagon, which has very easily removable uh, sort of roof to the wagon. And uh, I think we'll talk more about these later as well. So you can see the, the motor this end, which is obviously going to spin the cleaning pads. And Correct me if I'm wrong, but are these capacitors? Um, I think that's gonna uh, help with uh, dirty track. If it can't pick up any power, it should store some power in there that it can use to carry on cleaning. Uh, but yeah, I think that's uh, about it in terms of the wagon itself. So I'll just pop that down and retrieve the roof. And let's see if there's anything we need to look at in the paperwork. So there's that. Anyone? <laughs> afraid I don't speak German. Right, I've got a plan. 
see if this works. Google Translate to the rescue. And this is obviously an advert for a repair service, I think. <laughs> Moves nothing, steams nothing on your trains. So yeah, that's just a leaflet advert, which uh, looks like second-hand trains and repairs and stuff. Uh, looks like we have a diagram of how it goes together. With uh, part numbers, so that's good to know. And all that's in German as well. I think it's just the sort of specification and the parts list mainly, as I say. We'll give it a quick try anyway. Hmm. We'll figure it out. <laughs> and these, which I think are leaflets for exhibitions. Since about 30 years. Ah, uh, price list. Yeah, I think um, this is related to sort of German train shows that uh, Lux Model Bow will be attending. So, uh, yeah, there's no uh, English instructions, but uh, supposedly one of the best things about this uh, particular cleaner is uh, that it's really easy to use. So uh, let's find out. Okay, so what we've got here is uh, a little Jinty, just as a test. And just pick that because it's got uh, very few wheels, so uh, it's quite sensitive to dirty track. Now I have just cleaned the wheels of the Jinty to sort of rule that out, but I think we've found some dirty track. As you can see, that's on full power and it keeps stopping. We uh, give it a bit of a no. So yeah, that should be uh, a good test because it does look like the track is quite dirty. Gets going eventually. Uh, but we'll stop it there and uh, let's hook up the uh, Scheinenschleifwagen. Right, so Tornado is going to haul the cleaning wagon because it has a lot of pickups and a lot of wheels. So uh, off she goes. <laughs> you can see the. Uh, that's interesting. Cool. So you see, as soon as. Whoa, it's off. As soon as it starts moving, it detects the movement and starts the wheel spinning, the cleaning wheel. And you can see how dirty the track is, because even Tornado is uh, struggling. So that's good. So literally, uh, and I think that is the main benefit of this particular model. Um, the You just put it on the track, DCC or DC, and hook it up. And off it goes. It just does everything itself. You don't need to switch any switches. You don't need to put a decoder in it, it just knows when it's moving and uh, when it is moving it starts spinning its cleaning wheel and because of the capacitors that I mentioned uh, it keeps going even after the train has stopped so let's see if we can get this going a bit faster problem. So definitely something to be aware of. Uh, I'll measure the height of that but uh, you need to make sure your bridges and tunnels have enough clearance to let the wagon underneath. Good news! Uh, I've simply removed the top from the cleaning wagon and it now clears. I've checked everything on my layout it now clears everything so we're fine with that. Uh, I did measure it and 
if you've got 35 mil of clearance from uh, the track bed I should have measured it from the rails shouldn't I okay so 33 millimeters from the rail uh, so if you've got 35 three and a half centimeters you should have plenty of room with the roof of the wagon off it does reduce it uh, only a little bit in the middle um, but it reduces it a lot at the edges so if you've got a curved tunnel uh, like this then all the height is up here so uh, you gain a couple of mil only a couple of mil but actually at the sides you gain quite a lot so yeah that's a relief So the cleaning wagon's been round uh, a good eight or nine times now, and uh, as you can see, it's picked up quite a lot of uh, <laughs> dirt from the track. Um, I did use a little uh, dropper to drop a bit of um, IPA onto the cleaning pads. So uh, I think that's uh, helped a lot as well. So let's give the Jinty another try. There we go. I think it's pretty clear it's made a big difference. And even with just the uh, three axles it's now running nice and smoothly, even at the lowest speed setting. Let's bring her forward again. So, the model now Scheinenschleifwagen. Uh, in conclusion then, really pleased with the uh, the way it cleans, uh, the results from that, uh, the ease of use on DCC and DC, it just you just put it on the track and it works, and the capacitors keeping the, the wheels spinning is good as well. Um, yeah, the only downsides to watch are make sure you've got enough clearance, uh, 35mm is plenty you can probably get away with 33 34 if not you can try it without the uh, roof on and the other downside is uh, the price <laughs> yeah this cost uh, including the shipping from Germany I think it was 180 pounds so uh, quite a pricey item but uh, if it's going to get results like that without me having to scrub the track uh, it's going to let me spend more time running trains and making videos so that's all good um, whether it's worth it for you is up to you I probably suspect it will be if you've got hidden or inaccessible track uh, and it just depends how much you hate cleaning tracks after that uh, but yeah really pleased with that and uh, that will become uh, a main feature on the layout before I do any running videos just will give this a few whizzes round so yeah thanks very much for watching I'll uh, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you soon cheers